I'm training for the Marines boot camp and can currently do 16 dead hang pull-ups. How can I increase this to 20 in a month? I don't own a pull-up bar and only have access to once or twice a week. Okay, so this is the, one of the best ways. If you have access to a pull-up bar at least one to two days a week, I would try to focus on getting as many pull-ups as you possibly can every single day. And you do it in a way where you don't get hot. And when I say hot, you don't burn out your arms, you don't burn out your shoulders, you don't burn out your upper back muscles. You want to do something that's similar to like every every minute on the minute where you do reps and then rest. I, I, one thing you can think about is like, let's say you have 60 minutes, right? Think about doing two pull-ups every minute for 60 minutes. That's 120 pull-ups. That's sort of a training strategy. It's training not necessarily for muscle, but for motor pattern. You're trying to teach your body how to move better, try to become more efficient. Essentially, if you can somehow, of course, do this safely so you don't hurt yourself, you don't want to push through any bad pain, understand. But when you do train, you essentially want to find a way to strategize to get a, a significant amount of pull-ups done. Let's say 200 pull-ups, maybe 100 pull-ups. Don't do 50 at a time or 20 at a time or 10 or even five at a time. Focus on doing one to two at a time. It's gonna take some effort, obviously. It's gonna take some focus and you gotta be around a pull-up bar for a long period of time. But think about being able to do 200 pull-ups over a six hour period. Think about what that will do for your motor learning, your teaching of your body. And that's how I would approach it. You know, if you only had those two days, I would, I would train like that. Now, if you train this over six or over multiple days, it might not be such a good idea because your body can wear out pretty quickly. But the idea is that you're trying to be efficient with the movement, not get hot, not get too tired, but just stimulate the joint action of the elbow coming into the side, the shoulders coming back, and just being able to position your body in such a way where your arms don't get exhausted and your shoulders don't get exhausted. And you can do this by just accumulating lots of volume over a long period or a relatively long period of time. So I'd say 200 pull-ups in, in three hours maybe. That would be pretty amazing.